Have you ever felt a shiver down your spine when you hear a strange noise at night? The kind of noise that makes you stop in your tracks and listen intently, wondering what could be lurking in the shadows. What about the rustle of leaves in the wind, making you think something is watching you? The wind carries whispers, secrets of the night that have been told for centuries. For thousands of years, the first Australians felt the same way. They gathered around campfires, sharing stories that explained these mysterious sounds. They listened to the whispers of the wind and the stories of the land. Every rustle, every howl, every shadow had a meaning, a story that connected them to the world around them. These stories, passed down through generations, became the mythical legends of Australia. They were not just tales to entertain, but lessons to live by, guiding the community in their daily lives. These legends are more than just stories. They are the essence of Aboriginal culture, a rich tapestry woven with the threads of history, spirituality and the natural world. They are a window into the past, explaining the creation of the world, the behavior of animals, and the importance of respecting nature. Through these stories, the Aboriginal people understood their place in the universe and their responsibility to the land. These tales, told and retold, connected people to their ancestors and their land. They were a bridge between the past and the present, ensuring that the wisdom of the elders would never be forgotten. In every sunrise and sunset, in every whisper of the wind, the ancient echoes of these stories continue to resonate, reminding us of the timeless bond between humanity and nature. Australia is a land of diverse landscapes, from arid deserts to lush rainforests. The vastness of its terrain is matched only by the richness of its natural beauty. From the red sands of the outback to the dense green canopies of the Daintree rainforest, the country offers a visual feast that is both breathtaking and awe-inspiring. It's no surprise that each region developed its own unique set of legends. These stories have been passed down through generations, each one adding a layer of depth and meaning to the cultural tapestry of Australia. The legends are not just tales, they are a vital part of the identity of the people who live here. These stories are as varied as the landscapes themselves, featuring fearsome creatures, wise ancestors and powerful spirits. The oral traditions of Indigenous Australians are rich with narratives that explain the mysteries of the natural world and the human condition. Each story serves as a lesson, a warning, or a celebration of life. One of the most famous mythical beings is the Rainbow Serpent, a creator god associated with water, rain, and fertility. This powerful deity is said to have shaped the land and its waterways, bringing life to the arid regions and ensuring the fertility of the soil. The Rainbow Serpent is a symbol of creation and renewal, revered in many indigenous cultures. Equally well known is the Bunyip, a creature that lurks in swamps and waterways, striking fear into the hearts of those who dare to venture near. Descriptions of the Bunyip vary, but it is often depicted as a fearsome beast with a terrifying roar. This creature serves as a reminder of the unknown dangers that lurk in the wild, a symbol of the untamed and mysterious aspects of nature. The Rainbow Serpent is arguably the most significant mythical being in Aboriginal culture. It holds a place of great reverence and is central to many of their creation stories and spiritual beliefs. Depicted as a giant snake with colorful scales, it is said to have created the mountains, rivers and valleys that make up the Australian landscape. The Rainbow Serpent's movements are believed to have shaped the very contours of the land, carving out the rivers and forming the hills and valleys that we see today. This powerful serpent is also a protector of the land and its people. It is often invoked in rituals and ceremonies to ensure the fertility of the land and the well-being of the community. The Rainbow Serpent is seen as a guardian spirit, watching over sacred sites and maintaining the balance of nature. Stories of the Rainbow Serpent vary between different Aboriginal groups, but the core themes of creation, water and fertility remain constant. Each group has its own unique version of the tale, reflecting their specific environment and cultural practices. These stories are passed down through generations, keeping the traditions and wisdom of the ancestors alive. In some tales, the serpent is a benevolent protector, while in others, it is a fearsome force to be reckoned with. This duality reflects the complex relationship that Aboriginal people have with the natural world, recognizing both its nurturing and destructive powers. The Rainbow Serpent embodies this balance, serving as a reminder of the interconnectedness of all life. 
In stark contrast to the rainbow serpent, the bunyip is a creature of fear and mystery. This water-dwelling monster is said to inhabit swamps, billabongs and rivers, preying on unsuspecting animals and even humans. Descriptions of the bunyip vary widely, but it is often depicted as having a large bulky body, sharp claws and a booming roar that echoes through the night. Some accounts describe it as having walrus-like tusks, a crocodile-like head or even feathers. Sadly, these captivating stories are at risk of fading away. As modern life takes over and younger generations become increasingly disconnected from their cultural heritage, these ancient tales are in danger of being forgotten. Preserving these legends is crucial, not only for the sake of cultural heritage, but also for the valuable lessons they hold. These stories teach us about the interconnectedness of all living things, the importance of respecting nature, and the consequences of greed and disrespect. While the Bunyip is often portrayed as a terrifying monster, some Aboriginal elders tell a different story. They say that the Bunyip is not inherently evil but rather a protector of the waterways. It only attacks those who disrespect the water or the creatures that live in it. This surprising twist sheds new light on the legend, highlighting the importance of balance and respect in our relationship with the natural world. It is our responsibility to ensure that these stories continue to be told for generations to come. By learning about these legends, sharing them with others, and supporting the efforts of Aboriginal communities to preserve their cultural heritage, we can help keep these ancient voices alive. Visit museums and cultural centers, attend storytelling events, and engage with Aboriginal communities to learn more about their rich cultural heritage. Let us not allow these captivating tales to fade into obscurity. What are some of the mythical legends you grew up hearing? Every culture has its own stories, passed down through generations. Share your favorite legends with others and explore the stories of different cultures. You might be surprised at the common threads that connect us all. The world of mythical legends is vast and fascinating. By keeping these stories alive, we keep a part of ourselves and our shared human history alive as well. Please like and subscribe for more adventures.